now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now please pause for the 30 seconds of silence. Good morning, Grizzlies. I'm Steven. I'm Mimi with your sports news. And I'm Mila with JNN, your Grizzly News Network today. Today is Thursday, September 22nd, 2022. Attention, Grizzlies. If you receive a media release form to be included in your book, it must be returned no later than September 30th. That is next Friday. If you fail to turn in your form, you'll be removed from the yearbook. And once you are removed, you can no longer be fixed. Forms can be returned to Ms. Votarosa in room 223 or in the house office. Attention seniors, don't forget to wear your crowns tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 23rd of the month, which means we are celebrating you and we want you to show off that crown by wearing your proud pride and wear your crown around campus. And remember, formal senior porches will be taken on October 17th and 18th during students' English classes. Students should plan to wear a formal all-black dress shirt on the day of pictures. Students who are not in this attire or those who choose to can wear a tux or drape provided by Doran Studios. If you are planning to wear a drape, please wear a tank top underneath that day. There is no studio cost to take the photo, although they will be available for purchase on the Doran website. This is a photo that will appear in the yearbook for seniors. Please see Ms. Veta Rosa with any questions. Attention students who are absent on the day of pictures. Makeup day will be taking place on Friday, September 30th. Students who did not get their picture taken will be released by grade level throughout the day. Remember, this is only for students who did not get their photo taken. Students will not be allowed to retake a photo if Dorian already has one. Please see Ms. Veta Rosa if you have any questions. Now here's Stephen with some more news around campus. Thank you. It's a Hispanic Heritage Month, and Spring Valley is getting ready to celebrate the culture. On October 12th, Seoul and the Spanish Honor Society will be hosting Spring Valley's first Hispanic Heritage Celebration from 6 to 8 p.m. It will be a family-friendly event with music, food, games, and interesting displays. Mark it on your calendar and bring your families. There's an FBLA meeting today at 2 p.m. in room 325. Come learn about FBLA and participate in this career and technical student organization. Lead, learn, and laugh. Attention Grizzlies, Filipino American Student Union is meeting tomorrow. They are looking for board members as well. Scan the QR code to fill out the form and join the remind at FSAU to be included in meeting alerts. Homecoming is coming up the next Saturday, and that means next week is Fear Week. Adric, Maddie, and Callie show us what you could expect from the week in the dance this year. Hey Grizzlies, on October 1st, Stuco will be hosting this year's homecoming dance from 6 to 9 in the quad. There will be refreshments and snacks. Make sure you go to the homecoming assembly and football game on the 30th. Um, so we wanted to go with something like more elegant and classy, so we chose to go with Starry Night, um, which is based off of the painting by Vincent van Gogh. For Hoko, uh, what's to expect is a DJ, um, a photo booth, and then we will have a whole bunch of lights. Um, we will have food and refreshments, uh, backdrops for people to take pictures in front of and just like make it a fun experience. Student Council has come up with the Spirit Week to get ready for the dance. Monday the 26th is Sleeping Under the Stars, Wear Your Pajamas to School. Tuesday the 27th is Zero Gravity Day, Style Your Hair in a Crazy Way. Wednesday the 28th is Dress Like a Star, Dress Like Your Favorite Celebrity or Dress Nice Like a Celebrity. Thursday the 29th is Blast from the Past, Wear Your Throwback Clothing or Bring Something Old School. Friday the 30th is Class Colors, Dress in the Color of Your Grade. Freshmen wear green, sophomores wear navy, juniors wear white, and seniors wear black. Grizzlies, if you want to bring someone else to the dance, you will need to get a guest pass. If you're a Spring Valley student who wants to bring a guest to homecoming, they must be a student that is currently enrolled at a CCSD school. You can pick up a guest pass in room 908. Make sure it is filled out and properly, and then bring it back to room 908 to get it approved. Once your guest is approved, then you can purchase tickets for $20 each. All guest passes must be submitted no later than September 29th, and only one guest pass is allowed for Spring Valley student. For all questions, visit Miss O'Leary in room 908. 
The 23rd annual You Can Historically Black Colleges and University Recruitment Fair is this Saturday, September 24th, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. at the Doolittle Community Center. There will be on-the-spot admissions, scholarships, and application fee waivers available. This event is free and all are welcome, but registration is important. For the event, students will need to bring a printed copy of their high school transcript. Get ready because Northern Arizona University will be here at Spring Valley. An AU will be on campus to help with college admissions, applications, and general information. They will be on the cafeteria on the stage for first lunch only on Monday, the 26th. Now here's me for sports news. Thank you. Yesterday, our Lady Grizzly tennis teams won a very dramatic, thrilling tennis match against Doral Academy women's tennis team. The Grizzly victory keeps our Lady tennis teams undefeated after 11 matches. Our men's tennis teams also continues their winning streak as they beat the Doral Dragons tennis team by a score of 26. Best of luck today against the Chaparral Cowboys. Congratulations to our JV Lady soccer team for another win against the Rancho Rams last night. Shada scored two goals, and Valentina never gave the Rams a chance to score with the help of the, her defense. Catch them again at home next Thursday against Silverado High School. Congrats to our varsity volleyball team who pulled out a win last night. Way to go, Grizzlies. Today's another tennis game at Chaparral at 3. The JV football game is also here at 4 against Mojave. There is a men's soccer game at Las Vegas High School at 4.30 for varsity and 6 for JV. To end the week, varsity football has a home game tomorrow against Mojave. On Saturday, there is a tennis game, team for, game for men's and women's teams at Silverado at 9 in the morning. The 3-on-3 basketball tournament is still happening. It has been pushed back to October 26th from 2.01 to 5.30 p.m. Each team of four will have to have a team name and pay the banker. Each team will pay $10 a person, a total of $40. Code teams are encouraged. Anyone that attends Spring Valley High School can play. No one from other schools is allowed. Double elimination. Only Spring Valley students can watch for $1 at the door. If there are any questions, see Coach Davis in two, room 220 or Coach Blair. Now here's Milo with today's weather. Thank you. Grizzlies. Grizzlies, even though our first official day of fall is this Thursday, we can still expect highs in the low 90s for the rest of the week. In fact, next week is predicted to heat up a little bit with highs around 96 degrees. This Wednesday, our low sits just above 70 at a mild 68 degrees. The high will be 90 degrees for Wednesday and Thursday, although we might see temperatures stay around 63 degrees Thursday night for our low. Friday's game day here at Spring Valley. Be sure to show out and support our team, but dress accordingly. We predict a high of 92 degrees and a low of 66. For some other sports news, our very own Las Vegas Aces won the WNBA championship on Sunday. This is the first time ever in Las Vegas history that one of our city's teams has won a major league sports championship. Both players and fans are naturally very excited. Also, for better or for worse, on Sunday as well, our Las Vegas Raiders lost against the Arizona Cardinals, who saw a dramatic comeback in the fourth quarter. A video surfaced of Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray being smacked in the face by a Raiders fan after the game. Metro Police are currently investigating the incident. In any case, sorry for the Raiders, but there's no place for sore losers. Thank you, and back to you in the studio. Grizzlies, it's about to time to get outside in this nicer weather and be more active. The Holo Holo Challenge coming soon. To sign up and take part in the Holo Holo Challenge, scan the QR code and enter your information, then you'll be alerted to track your progress. We'll give you more information of what it entails in the upcoming days. Get out and be active, Grizzlies. This is Steven, Mimi, and Mila of, of the, the Grizzly, Grizzly News Network. Network. Have, Have a thrilling Thursday, Thursday Grizzlies. Grizzlies.